A memorial service has been held for the servicemen who died when a Second World War landing craft sank in the Solent. Landing craft LCT-427 collided on its return to Portsmouth from Normandy in June 1944. All 13 crewmen died. The South Sea Sub Aqua Club recently discovered the wreck, as Mark Sanders explains. At just 19, Margaret lost the man she was going to marry. Kenneth Sumner was one of 13 men killed when their landing craft sank in Portsmouth Harbour. Kenneth was a quite a religious person, a really frivolous man, and he loved his dancing, which we both did a lot of. And he was a, a lovely person altogether, really lovely. Margaret and the others who lost someone dear today travel to the spot where LCT 427 sank. The craft was part of the D-Day Armada. She successfully landed her cargo of tanks in Normandy and was returning to Portsmouth when disaster struck. In the early hours of June 7, 1944, and just four miles from shore, she was in a collision with a British battleship. The landing craft was sliced in two and went to the bottom. The wreck was identified by South Sea Subaqua Club. It organised today's memorial service at sea and traced the relatives of those who died. I never really expected to have such a fabulous response and to finally be here um, paying our last respects is just, it's just wonderful. Relatives laid wreaths where LCT 427 went down. Gladys Ingrid lost her brother, Hallam Carr. Well, I was just very sad, but uh, just said goodbye to him and God bless through the wreath. And what was going through your mind when you put the wreath on the water? Oh, it's really sad. Really sad. You think of you think of all those lives that have lost. Today was an act of remembrance to ensure that the loss of one landing craft crew was not forgotten in the sweep of history. Mark Sanders, BBC South Today, Portsmouth. Important day for those uh, relatives and comrades who've waited so long to pay their respects.